So when it comes to a luxury buyer, what's what's the most important thing? And it's time. So we don't want to waste their time. This is the Healy Brothers Show. So we're sitting here. We got Nikki Faraggio, uh, producer slash content creator for Healy Brothers. And then we got a very special guest today, a very busy woman. And she's able to give us some time today. Laura Aiello, who is our customer experience director at the new Lincoln facility. And we're actually sitting in our black label uh, dealership now, but she also does so much more for us. She helps us with our foundation, helped us start our foundation. She literally will do anything for, for Healy Brothers. So we're so grateful to have her on because I know she's usually running a million miles an hour and has, has a team that's usually all over the place to help all Lincoln customers. So first thing I wanna ask you, what is the Lincoln difference at Healy Brothers? What does it mean? What do we do different? And how do we take it to that next level here? Oh, that's a really good question. So I think that the main difference between us and what we used to do in the past and what service departments in general do in the past is we've taken that and we've flipped it on its head. So in the traditional service setting, the client would come on into the dealership, they would drop off their vehicle, they might sit and have a cup of coffee, their vehicle gets done, and then they go out about their day. Yeah, we switched that up a little bit. That was too normal. We had to we had to really really make some changes. So now what we're doing is we actually have a remote team that will go on out to the client's house, leave them alone or vehicle, take their vehicle on in for service, clean it before it gets returned back to them, and then bring them back their vehicle. So I think that alone is a huge step because we are making sure that people aren't inconvenienced at all. So even though we have this brand new beautiful building that we want people to come in and visit, if you don't have time to do so, we'll still get your car to service, we'll come to you which I think is something really unique and really fun that we've been that we've been implementing. And we do it at work and home pretty much, pretty much anywhere they say, right? Yeah, if we can meet you, if you're even going to get your nails done, we've actually done that. We've met people at the nail salons, we've been, met people at their favorite breakfast spot. We don't want to interrupt your day because a lot of times people have a bad connotation when you have to come in for your vehicle for service. So we've kind of tried to do our best to make it as easy as possible for them. And like what Greg said, when it comes to a luxury buyer, what's What's the most important thing? And it's time. So we don't want to waste their time. So that's why we would meet them at the nail salon or meet them at their favorite breakfast spot. Yeah. And when it comes to what you're talking about with the like pickup and delivery service, one thing Jay always talks about is communication is what helps that experience for the customer. I'll see you here running around crazy with phone call after phone call with your team talking about they have to get this done, meet them here and whatnot because JK talked about it. Yeah. If they're going to get a text five minutes before and they're going to be there at 10 a.m., we have to they have to get that text five See minutes before and be there at 10 a.m. See their expectations. So you want to talk a little bit about how we communicate with our customers, the different ways we do it, how many people are on the team doing it, okay. uh, all that. So we really use, I call it the trifecta. So that's calls, texts, and emails. And we are basically available at any time, whatever way of, of communication works best for the client. So typically we're all running around with our two phones because we are texting those clients who say, hey, uh, I got stuck in traffic. I'm not going to be home at four o'clock. Can you meet me at 4.15? Not a problem, we'll see you at 4.15. So we have that personal relationship with the clients that I think a lot of dealerships are lacking, um, which is how it's fun that we can go in there and kind of swoop in and show them how it should be done. So we have the, that trifecta of being able to communicate in any way that they need. And we have a team of about six people right now who are constantly making sure that everything is going as smoothly as possible. We have a team of drivers who they are in and out of cars all day. They are driving from our dealership to houses. They are making sure that the fleet is as perfect as can be. And then of course, like I said, we're having to wash the client's vehicles before we bring them on back to them. Because who wants to have a service done and you get a dirty car back? So our team has been running, making sure that the not only our cars that we're giving to our clients are nice and shiny, but that the client, when they receive their car back, is nice and clean and shiny as well. And then we're also, we're also communicating with them like, hey, your car might be delayed today. Say something comes up or we're asking them like something else came on their vehicle. We just checked. We want to fix or something that we're, we're communicating like, hey, it might be a little longer to say, hey, your car's out early. Do you mind if I drop it off at work or we, we keep that communication open and, because we also want their vehicle to be super healthy. Yep. Um, Which is nice because it, it, it's nice that you bring that up because when we are driving it to the car wash, even when the car wash is local, we're making sure that everything is looking good. That gives my team an opportunity to make sure that, hey, it did come in for that squeak concern. Let's double check, make sure that now that it's been sitting for about half an hour, let's make sure that squeak concern is taken care of. And then if my team of people notice, hey, you know what, it's not 100% yet, that gives us a chance to fix the problem before we bring it back to the client. Yeah, it's, I mean, that's like a no-brainer to me. I mean, yeah. we have six people just at Lincoln just helping customer service. So we're getting that face-to-face -face connection. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I don't think most dealerships and even luxury dealerships have six people working their service partners just to handle the, the volume. So that's that's one thing I think we go above and beyond is having the right people and having 
people just in general that have friendly attitudes and, and will go out of your way to, to grab you a cup of coffee, maybe put those, something special in your vehicle or, or exceed your expectations by getting there early or getting you that nicer loaner you want to try out, whether it's a uh, navigator or... And that happens Corsair. quite a bit, Jack. Yeah. Like there are sometimes when people are in their Corsair and we'll call them and say, hey, I'm sorry, we don't have a Corsair, but we have a Nautilus. Would that be okay? And they're like, actually, I was thinking about buying a Nautilus. That would be great. Do you have a gray, a gray one or do you have a... What do you have? And we really try to work with them so that they can see if that's something that yeah. they it will fit their lifestyle. And going back to what you mentioned before about making like being friendly faces, I always tell our team, we are literally knocking on people's doors. We are seeing them in their fuzzy bathrobes. We are petting their dog. We are meeting their babies. And you can't do that if you have an unfriendly team. And if they think we're not taking notes on everything, they're wrong. Like we see you moving your golf clubs from your vehicle to the loaner vehicle. Okay, they play golf. Yeah. We're seeing that you have a brand new baby. Okay, you have a brand we'll new baby. We're also inviting them to our foundation too, That's as well. <laughs> right? Like, come on and play in the golf yeah. outing too. But, but we notice all that stuff because we are at their doorstep, knocking on that door, ringing that doorbell, helping them transfer their stuff over. So we're really able to continue that relationship. And a lot of time, our clients really do become family members because we know that your daughter's going away for college. We know she just got accepted to the university. We know you have to take your puppy to the vet who's been throwing up for a week. Like, we really really get in there and know our clients, which really helps our relationship. And I think, and I feel that when the clients are reaching out to us, they really do feel like they're reaching out to a family friend instead of just calling a dealership and needing an oil change. Yeah. They're not just talking to a voice behind the phone either or texting my voice. They're meeting that person like, oh, I was texting you today or mm -hmm. you were helping me out today. And I also think like another big thing I've noticed, especially like for all our dealerships, the Healy family, so even with Lincoln is, yeah, their son or daughter might not have have a Healy Lincoln or a, a black label that we're helping out, but they, their kid has an issue with their car and you could reach out and they bring their Ford in or whatever vehicle it is and we'll help them out or help them get a new vehicle or have family or friend that has an issue that we could address because you're making that connection with them every day, not just for Lincoln, but you're making that connection as the as, for the Healy group. And I've seen that a lot. I know Jake Case sees a lot, sees a lot with the household. So um, I think that's awesome to say. Where it comes in that we're, we're in the people business as as Pete was telling us. You know, Jay, Jay tried to ask him how you see AI coming into it. And like, AI just can't do things like that for us because we're in the people business. They want to see a face. They want to make a connection. They want to join the Healy family. But let's talk about like, like the pickup and delivery and how we handle it. What has been the customer feedback of how Healy Lincoln handles that pickup and delivery? Oh my gosh, they love it. They love it. Like, I don't think we can ever go back to not having it. Not that we will, but I, like and it is beautiful, but, but people absolutely love it because of the ease of it, especially over the summer months. You know, the kids are home. They want to be going and doing fun things with their families. They don't want to have to be coming on in. Now, don't get me wrong. The people who do come in absolutely love the new building, but they say, hey, you know what? Next time we do need to take advantage of that. That's a really cool service that you guys offer. And we're proud to say that, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely help you out. I mean, yeah, I mean, I mean who... Granted, it is, like you said, amazing to come here. I mean, me and Nikki try to spend as much time here shooting some videos, so it's, <laughs> I don't it's, blame also, it. it's also great. But <laughs> when we talk about customer loyalty, I, I think we talk about it at not just Lincoln, but every single Healy location. We talk about customer loyalty. We want people word of mouth talking about us. We want them to go, to really be our, our advertisers because what's more powerful than word of mouth? Nothing. And we try to make it special for every time you come in. Make it memorable. Make the person interaction so, like I um, important to them that they don't want to go anywhere else. They want to have like a relief when they talk to you, like, ah, oh, there's a problem in my car, but oh, you know what? Laura's got, got me handled. So what does customer loyalty, customer loyal, loyalty mean to you? And how, how do you go above and beyond personally to set that expectation? So when that customer comes in, they have nothing to worry about. I think it goes back to everything that we've talked about, about making sure that the face or the voice that they're hearing on the phone is the face that they're seeing when they come in the dealership and making sure that we're remembering the small little things like, okay, you have an appointment tomorrow for a squeak concern. You came in last month for a squeak concern, didn't you? Okay, let me look into that for you. So that when by the time that they're coming into our dealership or their vehicle is rolling into our dealership, we already have a game plan in place. We already know that, okay, this is what we tried in the past. That didn't work. Let's come up with a new plan. So it's very rare that we're just acting on the fly. A lot of times we're looking at the appointments ahead of times and we're saying, okay, this person's coming on in. Oh, yeah, yeah wait a second. They just had a baby a couple months ago. Let's make sure we have uh, something here in case the baby comes with them. And we'll go get those little baby snack em wafers just in case the baby comes. Now the baby not, might not even come, but to us it's the point that we went above and beyond and thought, 
just in case that four month old comes in, we have something that they can have that's gonna make hopefully their day a little better for the baby, which makes it better for the parents. Yeah. So we really try to make sure that we know who's coming in, we make sure that we know their history and make sure that they know that we're here for them. And if there are any questions, we'll use that trifecta, we'll reach out, call, text, or email to say, hey, can you give me a little bit more information? We don't wanna, hit, we don't wanna just hit that ball, run, that ground running when you come in. We wanna have a game plan ahead of time. Yeah, so you're, you're communicating above and beyond. I mean, I, I, <laughs> Some of these people are communicating too much, but the customer probably loves it, and you're making memories in their head. They're like, I will never go anywhere else. Like, every luxury product is beautiful nowadays, but it, again, we talked about it with John Kerner, um, the rep, Pete, all the people always talk about it. You got to set that expectation, and that experience is what brings them back and setting that up. Uh, I think that comes down to the people that work at the Healy exactly. organizations. I think it really does. I feel like everyone who works here genuinely cares. And I hope that, and I feel that it actually shows in the way that we interact with our clients. It's easy for maybe other dealerships or other even brands or, or whatever the case is to just, you know, clock in at nine, stay till five, and then you're done. But I feel like, especially here at Healy, we, we sit and when you're home, think about, okay, well, what could I have done better today? Did I, did I give Mr. Smith all that information? Okay, wait, did I call Mr. Carlisle back? And you're, I sit there and I think about, and I make lists of everything that I could have done better, and then I'm gonna make damn sure that the next day I implement that. Oh, I love that. And, and we really think of, for my family, the Healy family, we think of everyone like family, and we talk, talk about our customers as family, but we really do care about all you so much, especially people, <laughs> especially that you have, but like every single person matters to us, no matter what you do at Healy, it's, it's that, family feeling i think that really helps us strive and we try to instill in everyone to do is is treat them like family what would you want to be treated like right. and i think that's where it really starts so one last question we'll just touch on a little tech technology question because we talk about experience and ease but like what kind of technology can a lincoln customer expect of ease of maybe the app or or how we handle the car when they pull in or did that little those little things that we do to check your vehicle every time no of course so the lincoln client has the ability to download the lincoln way app which they go ahead and pop their fin number on there which allows them to see their vehicle remotely they can see any open recalls or anything that might be needed for the vehicle as well as start the vehicle turn off the vehicle um, roll down the windows like all kinds of fun stuff that they're able to do right from the power of their phone because let's be honest we all have our phone on us at all times so that's one thing that's really really nice is that they have that ease at the at their finger tips to kind of help out with their car and kind of be kept in the know on that. They can also check their mileage that way and through that app you can go in and set any appointments that you might want. So as long as Healy is set as your preferred dealer, they can go in and just set up that oil change that whatever needs to get done right from the ease of their phone. Now when the vehicle comes on in, we have a really cool Hunter alignment machine. So with the beautiful building, with the beautiful service drive that we have. The flowers in there too, everyone. Oh, it's a live wall. It's crazy. It's a live wall. Um, when the vehicle comes on in, it actually, and every single car does this, it rolls to that Hunter alignment machine. So right off the bat, before your vehicle is even checked in, we know how your tires are looking, how your alignment is. So we can kind of tell from the jump whether or not that's something that we're going to have to be touching on. Sometimes people aren't even aware that their alignment is off just because they've been used to it for so long. Yeah, because when you drive the northeast, you, you drive down the street. Oh, those potholes. See it. <laughs> yeah, those potholes. <laughs> 17, 17, 17 is, it's... So it's insane. Dangerous. It's insane. So you hit a pothole and all of a sudden you become used to your, your steering wheel always being tilted. You don't think about it, but then you come in and we can say, hey, your alignment looks a little off. Do you want us to take care of that today? You're like, oh yeah, I hit about 30 potholes. Yeah. I'm going to work today. <laughs> But it's nice because it's, we rely on that technology, whereas, of course, we have the technicians who can go out there and, and test all the same stuff. But I think it's awesome to be able to, right from the jump, know exactly what we're looking at when it comes to that. All right. Well, that was a lot of information. <laughs> really, really well done. And, Dickie, do, do you have anything else? I don't have anything else, honestly. Just if you have anything else to touch on where it comes to tributes to loyalty. I mean, it's just a full team in here, too. I, I know sales and service are working so they work fluently. It's like a building like, you know, some buildings, I think, are are separated. But we always try to make a healing one team. They really made this facility one fluid team that will work together 24-7. Ted's always involved. Lori's always involved. Sales that goes back and forth. They're helping the client giving them loaners, test driving cars. Yeah. So it's it's a full family. And you can really huge. feel the difference. Yeah. I really think that you can feel the difference because we are constantly talking. We're They're probably so sick of, of seeing your name pop up on their phone all the time, but at the end of the day, we're doing what's best for yeah. the client, which is how come we're all here? So I, th I think it's a really good point that you brought up. Sales and service have been working so hard to make sure that it doesn't feel like two separate departments anymore, that you feel like when you're coming on in, you're just dealing with the Healy Lincoln family. That was that was that was pretty awesome. I really appreciate it, Laura. I know you're super, super, super busy, and I'm sure your phone's blowing up. Yeah, I don't even want to look at it right now. But, uh, okay, right. Thank you for jumping on, and we really appreciate no, it. That's gonna be an awesome episode. Lots of lots of great stuff said, and 
And we hope, um, we hope you keep, you gotta keep doing what you're doing. All right, will do. Thank you, Darren. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, hit that subscribe button, and follow us at Healy Brothers on all social platforms.